Deformation in continuum mechanics is the transformation of a body from a reference configuration to a current configuration. A configuration is a set containing the positions of all particles of the body. A deformation may be caused by external loads, body forces such as gravity or electromagnetic forces, or changes in temperature, moisture content, or chemical reactions, etc. Strain is a description of deformation in terms of relative displacement of particles in the body that excludes rigid body motions. Different equivalent choices may be made for the expression of a strain field depending on whether it is defined with respect to the initial or the final configuration of the body and on whether the metric tensor or its dual is considered. In a continuous body, a deformation field results from a stress field induced by applied forces or is due to changes in the temperature field inside the body. The relation between stresses and induced strains is expressed by constitutive equations, e.g., Hooke's law for linear elastic materials. Deformations which are recovered after the stress field has been removed are called elastic deformations. In this case, the continuum completely recovers its original configuration. On the other hand, irreversible deformations remain even after stresses have been removed. One type of irreversible deformation is plastic deformation, which occurs in material bodies after stresses have attained a certain threshold value known as the elastic limit or yield stress, and are the result of slip, or dislocation mechanisms at the atomic level. Another type of irreversible deformation is viscous deformation, which is the irreversible part of viscoelastic deformation. In the case of elastic deformations, the response function linking strain to the deforming stress is the compliance tensor of the material. Strain Strain is a measure of deformation representing the displacement between particles in the body relative to a reference length. A general deformation of a body can be expressed in the form x equals f x, where x is the reference position of material points in the body. Such a measure does not distinguish between rigid body motions, translations and rotations, and changes in shape and size of the body. A deformation has units of length. We could, for example, define strain to be epsilon x x minus x equals f minus i. Display style bold symbol ver epsilon dotec cfrac partial partial math bf x left math bf x math bf x right equals bold symbol f bold symbol i, where i is the identity tensor. Hence, strains are dimensionless and are usually expressed as a decimal fraction, a percentage, or in parts per notation. Strains measure how much a given deformation differs locally from a rigid body deformation. A strain is in general a tensor quantity. Physical insight into strains can be gained by observing that a given strain can be decomposed into normal and shear components. The amount of stretch or compression along material line elements or fibers is the normal strain, and the amount of distortion associated with the sliding of plane layers over each other is the shear strain, within a deforming body. This could be applied by elongation, shortening, or volume changes, or angular distortion. The state of strain at a material point of a continuum body is defined as the totality of all the changes in length of material lines or fibers, the normal strain, which pass through that point, and also the totality of all the changes in the angle between pairs of lines initially perpendicular to each other, the shear strain, radiating from this point. However, it is sufficient to know the normal and shear components of strain on a set of three mutually perpendicular directions. If there is an increase in length of the material line, the normal strain is called tensile strain, otherwise, if there is reduction or compression in the length of the material line, it is called compressive strain.
Topic: <laughs> Strain measures. Depending on the amount of strain, or local deformation, the analysis of deformation is subdivided into three deformation theories Finite strain theory, also called large strain theory, large deformation theory, deals with deformations in which both rotations and strains are arbitrarily large. In this case, the undeformed and deformed configurations of the continuum are significantly different and a clear distinction has to be made between them. This is commonly the case with elastomers, plastically deforming materials and other fluids and biological soft tissue. Infinitesimal strain theory, also called small strain theory, small deformation theory, small displacement theory, or small displacement gradient theory where strains and rotations are both small. In this case, the undeformed and deformed configurations of the body can be assumed identical. The infinitesimal strain theory is used in the analysis of deformations of materials exhibiting elastic behavior, such as materials found in mechanical and civil engineering applications, e.g. concrete and steel. Large displacement or large rotation theory, which assumes small strains but large rotations and displacements, in each of these theories the strain is then defined differently. The engineering strain is the most common definition applied to materials used in mechanical and structural engineering, which are subjected to very small deformations. On the other hand, for some materials, e.g. elastomers and polymers, subjected to large deformations, the engineering definition of strain is not applicable, e.g. typical engineering strains greater than 1%, thus other more complex definitions of strain are required, such as stretch, logarithmic strain, green strain, and Almansi strain. Engineering strain. The Cauchy strain or engineering strain is expressed as the ratio of total deformation to the initial dimension of the material body in which the forces are being applied. The engineering normal strain or engineering extensional strain or nominal strain E of a material line element or fiber axially loaded is expressed as the change in length delta L per unit of the original length L of the line element or fibers. The normal strain is positive if the material fibers are stretched and negative if they are compressed. Thus, we have E equals delta L L equals L minus L L Display style E equals frac delta L L equals frac L L L, where E is the engineering normal strain, L is the original length of the fiber, and L is the final length of the fiber. Measures of strain are often expressed in parts per million or microstrains. The true shear strain is defined as the change in the angle in radians between two material line elements initially perpendicular to each other in the underformed or initial configuration. The engineering shear strain is defined as the tangent of that angle, and is equal to the length of deformation at its maximum divided by the perpendicular length in the plane of force application which sometimes makes it easier to calculate. topic stretch ratio the stretch ratio or extension ratio is a measure of the extensional or normal strain of a differential line element which can be defined at either the undeformed configuration or the deformed configuration it is defined as the ratio between the final length l and the initial length l of the material line lambda equals l L display style lambda equals frac L L. The extension ratio is approximately related to the engineering strain by E equals L minus L L equals lambda minus one 
Display style E equals frac L L L equals Lambda minus one. This equation implies that the normal strain is zero, so that there is no deformation when the stretch is equal to unity. The stretch ratio is used in the analysis of materials that exhibit large deformations, such as elastomers, which can sustain stretch ratios of 3 or 4 before they fail. On the other hand, traditional engineering materials, such as concrete or steel, fail at much lower stretch ratios. True strain The logarithmic strain epsilon, also called, true strain or Henke strain. Considering an incremental strain Ludwig delta epsilon equals delta L L display style delta var epsilon equals frac delta L L the logarithmic strain is obtained by integrating this incremental strain delta epsilon equals l l delta l l epsilon equals ln l l equals ln lambda equals lane 1 plus e equals e minus e 2 2 plus e 3 3 minus display style begin aligned in delta var epsilon and equals int underscore l carrot l frac delta l l var epsilon and equals lane left frac l l right equals lane lambda and equals lane 1 plus e and equals e frac e carrot 2 2 plus frac e carrot 3 3 c d o t s end aligned where e is the engineering strain. The logarithmic strain provides the correct measure of the final strain when deformation takes place in a series of increments, taking into account the influence of the strain path. <laughs> Green strain The Green strain is defined as epsilon G equals 1 2 l 2 minus l 2 l 2 equals 1 2 lambda 2 minus 1 Display style var epsilon underscore g equals tfrac one two left frac l carrot two l carrot two l carrot two right equals tfrac one two lambda carrot two minus one. Topic Almansi strain. The Euler Almansi strain is defined as epsilon e equals 1 2 l 2 minus l 2 l 2 equals 1 2 1 minus 1 lambda Two display style var epsilon underscore e equals tfrac one two left frac l carrot two l carrot two l carrot two right equals tfrac one two left one frac one lambda carrot two right. Topic: Normal and shear strain. Strains are classified as either normal or shear. 
A normal strain is perpendicular to the face of an element, and a shear strain is parallel to it. These definitions are consistent with those of normal stress and shear stress. Normal strain For an isotropic material that obeys Hooke's law, a normal stress will cause a normal strain. Normal strains produce dilations. Consider a two-dimensional, infinitesimal, rectangular material element with dimensions dx times dy, which, after deformation, takes the form of a rhombus. From the geometry of the adjacent figure we have L E N G T H A B equals D X display style mathrm length A B equals D X and L E N G T H A B equals D X plus U X X D X two plus U Y X D X two equals D X one plus two U X X plus U X X two plus U Y X two display style begin aligned mathrm length ab and equals S Q R T left D X plus frac partial U underscore X partial X D X right carrot two plus left frac partial U underscore Y partial X D X right carrot two and equals D X tilde S Q R T one plus two frac partial U underscore X partial X plus left frac partial U underscore x partial x right carrot two plus left frac partial u underscore y partial x right carrot two end aligned for very small displacement gradients the squares of the derivatives are negligible and we have length a b approximately equals dx plus u x x dx display style mathrm length ab approximately dx plus frac partial u underscore x partial x dx the normal strain in the x direction of the rectangular element is defined by epsilon x equals extension original length equals length a b minus l e n g t h a b l E N G T H A B equals U X X Display style ver epsilon underscore x equals frac text extension text original length equals frac mathrm length ab mathrm length a b mathrm length a b equals frac partial u underscore x partial x. Similarly, the normal strain in the y and z directions becomes epsilon y equals U Y Y Epsilon Z equals U Z Z 
Display style Varepsilon underscore Y equals frac partial U underscore Y partial Y quad Q quad Varepsilon underscore Z equals frac partial U underscore Z partial Z. Topic Shear strain The engineering shear strain gamma xy is defined as the change in angle between lines AC and AB. Therefore, gamma x y equals alpha plus beta. Display style gamma underscore x y equals alpha plus beta. From the geometry of the figure, we have tan alpha equals u y x d x d x plus u x x d x equals u y x 1 plus u x x tan beta equals u x y d y d Y plus U Y Y D Y equals U X Y one plus U Y Y display style begin aligned tan alpha and equals frac T F R A C partial U underscore Y partial X D X D X plus T F R A C partial U underscore X partial X D X equals frac T F R A C partial U underscore Y partial X one plus T F R A C partial U underscore X partial X tan Beta and equals frac T F R A C partial U underscore X partial Y D Y D Y plus T F R A C partial U underscore Y partial Y D Y equals frac T F R A C partial U underscore X partial Y one plus T F R A C partial U underscore Y partial Y end aligned for small displacement gradients we have U X X one U Y Y one Display style CFRAC partial U underscore X partial X LL one tilde 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 CFRAC partial U underscore Y partial Y LL one for small rotations, i.e. alpha and beta are one, we have tan alpha approximately equals alpha, tan beta approximately equals beta. Therefore, alpha approximately equals u y x beta approximately equals u x y. Display style alpha approximately CFRAC partial U underscore Y partial X tilde 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 beta approximately CFRAC partial U underscore X partial Y thus Gamma X Y equals alpha plus beta equals U Y X plus U X Y Display style gamma underscore x y equals alpha plus beta equals frac partial u underscore y partial x plus frac partial u underscore x partial y by interchanging x and y and ux and uy, it can be shown that gamma xy equals gamma yx. 
Similarly, for the YZ and XZ planes, we have gamma y z equals gamma z y equals u y z plus u z y gamma z x equals gamma x z equals u z x plus u x z Display style gamma underscore y z equals gamma underscore z y equals frac partial u underscore y partial z plus frac partial u underscore z party al y quad q quad gamma underscore z x equals gamma underscore x z equals frac partial u underscore z partial x plus frac partial u underscore x partial z the tensorial shear strain components of the infinitesimal strain tensor can then be expressed using the engineering strain definition gamma as epsilon underscore underscore equals epsilon x x epsilon x y epsilon X Z Epsilon Y X Epsilon Y Y Epsilon Y Z Epsilon Z X Epsilon Z Y Epsilon Z Z equals Epsilon X X one two Gamma X Y one two Gamma X Z one two gamma y x epsilon y y 1 2 gamma y z 1 2 gamma z x 1 2 gamma z y epsilon z z display style underline underline bold symbol for epsilon equals left begin matrix for epsilon underscore x x and for epsilon underscore x y and for epsilon underscore x z for epsilon underscore y x and for epsilon underscore y y and for epsilon underscore y z for epsilon underscore z x and for epsilon underscore z y and for epsilon underscore z z end matrix right equals left begin matrix for epsilon underscore x x and tfrac one two gamma underscore x y and tfrac one two gamma underscore x z tfrac one two gamma underscore y x and for epsilon underscore y y and tfrac one two gamma underscore y z tf frac 1 2 gamma underscore zx and tfrac 1 2 gamma underscore zy and for epsilon underscore zz end matrix right topic metric tensor A strain field associated with a displacement is defined, at any point, by the change in length of the tangent vectors representing the speeds of arbitrarily parametrized curves passing through that point. 
A basic geometric result, due to Fréchet, von Neumann and Jordan, states that, if the lengths of the tangent vectors fulfill the axioms of a norm and the parallelogram law, then the length of a vector is the square root of the value of the quadratic form associated, by the polarization formula, with a positive definite bilinear map called the metric tensor. Description of deformation Deformation is the change in the metric properties of a continuous body, meaning that a curve drawn in the initial body placement changes its length when displaced to a curve in the final placement. If none of the curves changes length, it is said that a rigid body displacement occurred. It is convenient to identify a reference configuration or initial geometric state of the continuum body which all subsequent configurations are referenced from. The reference configuration need not be one the body actually will ever occupy. Often, the configuration at t equals zero is considered the reference configuration, kappa zero b. The configuration at the current time t is the current configuration. For deformation analysis, the reference configuration is identified as undeformed configuration, and the current configuration as deformed configuration. Additionally, time is not considered when analyzing deformation, thus the sequence of configurations between the undeformed and deformed configurations are of no interest. The components xi of the position vector x of a particle in the reference configuration, taken with respect to the reference coordinate system, are called the material or reference coordinates. On the other hand, the components xi of the position vector x of a particle in the deformed configuration, taken with respect to the spatial coordinate system of reference, are called the spatial coordinates. There are two methods for analyzing the deformation of a continuum. One description is made in terms of the material or referential coordinates, called material description or Lagrangian description. A second description is of deformation is made in terms of the spatial coordinates it is called the spatial description or Eulerian description. There is continuity during deformation of a continuum body in the sense that the material points forming a closed curve at any instant will always form a closed curve at any subsequent time. The material points forming a closed surface at any instant will always form a closed surface at any subsequent time and the matter within the closed surface will always remain within. <laughs> Affine deformation. A deformation is called an affine deformation if it can be described by an affine transformation. Such a transformation is composed of a linear transformation such as rotation, shear, extension and compression and a rigid body translation. Affine deformations are also called homogeneous deformations. Therefore, an affine deformation has the form x x t equals f t x plus c t display style math bf x math bf x t equals bold symbol f t c d o t math bf x plus math bf c t where x is the position of a point in the deformed configuration, x is the position in a reference configuration, t is a time-like parameter, f is the linear transformer and c is the translation. In matrix form, where the components are with respect to an orthonormal basis x 1 x 1 x 2 x 3 t x 2 x 1 x 2 x 3 t x 3 x 1 x 2 
x 3 t equals f 11 t f 12 t f 13 t f 21 t f 22 t f 23 t f 31 t f 32 t f 33 T x 1 x 2 x 3 plus C 1 T C 2 T C 3 T display style begin B matrix X underscore 1 X underscore 1 X underscore 2 X underscore 3 T X underscore 2 X underscore 1 X underscore 2 X underscore 3 T X underscore 3 X underscore 1 X underscore 2 X underscore 3 T end B matrix equals begin B matrix F underscore eleven T and F underscore twelve T and F underscore thirteen T F underscore twenty one T and F underscore twenty two T and F underscore twenty three T F underscore thirty one T and F underscore thirty two T and F underscore thirty three T end B matrix begin B matrix X underscore one X underscore two X underscore three end B matrix plus begin B matrix C underscore one T C underscore two T C underscore three T end B matrix the above deformation becomes non affine or inhomogeneous if F topic F X T or C C X T Topic Rigid body motion A rigid body motion is a special affine deformation that does not involve any shear, extension, or compression. The transformation matrix F is proper orthogonal in order to allow rotations but no reflections. A rigid body motion can be described by x x t equals q t x plus c t display style math bf x math bf x t equals bold symbol q t c d o t math bf x plus math bf c t where q q t equals q t q equals 1 Display style bold symbol q c d o t bold symbol q caret t equals bold symbol q caret t c d o t bold symbol q equals bold symbol math it one in matrix form x one x one x two x three T x two x one x two x three T x three x one x two x three T equals Q eleven T Q twelve T Q thirteen T 
Q twenty one T Q twenty two T Q twenty three T Q thirty one T Q thirty two T Q thirty three T X one X two X three plus C one T C two T C three T display style begin B matrix X underscore one X underscore one X underscore two X underscore three T X underscore two X underscore one X underscore two X underscore three T X underscore three X underscore one X underscore two X underscore three T end B matrix equals Begin B matrix Q underscore eleven T and Q underscore twelve T and Q underscore thirteen T Q underscore twenty one T and Q underscore twenty two T and Q underscore twenty three T Q underscore thirty one T and Q underscore thirty two T and Q underscore thirty three T end B matrix begin B matrix X underscore one X underscore two X underscore 3 end B matrix plus begin B matrix C underscore 1 T C underscore 2 T C underscore 3 T end B matrix topic displacement a change in the configuration of a continuum body results in a displacement the displacement of a body has two components, a rigid body displacement and a deformation. A rigid body displacement consists of a simultaneous translation and rotation of the body without changing its shape or size. Deformation implies the change in shape and or size of the body from an initial or undeformed configuration kappa 0 B to a current or deformed configuration kappa T B figure 1. If after a displacement of the continuum there is a relative displacement between particles, a deformation has occurred. On the other hand, if after displacement of the continuum the relative displacement between particles in the current configuration is zero, then there is no deformation and a rigid body displacement is said to have occurred. The vector joining the positions of a particle P in the undeformed configuration and deformed configuration is called the displacement vector U x, t. Ue in the Lagrangian description, or U x, t. Uj ej in the Eulerian description. A displacement field is a vector field of all displacement vectors for all particles in the body, which relates the deformed configuration with the undeformed configuration. It is convenient to do the analysis of deformation or motion of a continuum body in terms of the displacement field. In general, the displacement field is expressed in terms of the material coordinates as U x t equals b x t plus x x t minus x or u i equals alpha i j b J plus X I minus alpha I J X J 
Display style Math BF U Math BF X T equals Math BF B Math BF X T plus Math BF X Math BF X T Math BF X Q quad text or Q quad U underscore I equals alpha underscore I J B underscore J plus X underscore I alpha underscore I J X underscore J or in terms of the spatial coordinates as U X T equals B X T plus X minus X X T or U J equals B J plus alpha J I X I minus X J Display style Math BF U Math BF X T equals Math BF B Math BF X T plus Math BF X Math BF X Math BF X T Q quad text or Q quad U underscore J equals B underscore J plus alpha underscore G X underscore I X underscore J where alpha g are the direction cosines between the material and spatial coordinate systems with unit vectors e j and a, respectively. Thus, e j e i equals alpha j i equals alpha i j Display style Math BF E underscore J C D O T Math BF E underscore I equals alpha underscore G equals alpha underscore I J and the relationship between UE and U J is then given by U I equals alpha I J U J or u j equals alpha j i u i display style u underscore i equals alpha underscore i j u underscore j q quad text or q quad u underscore j equals alpha underscore g u underscore i knowing that E I equals alpha I J E J display style math BF e underscore I equals alpha underscore I J math BF e underscore J then u X T equals u i e i equals u i alpha i j e j equals u j e j equals u x t display style math bf u math bf x t equals u underscore i math bf e underscore i equals u underscore i alpha underscore i j math bf e underscore j equals u underscore j math bf e underscore j equals math bf u math bf x t it is common to superimpose the coordinate systems for the underformed and deformed configurations, which results in B equals zero, and the direction cosines become Kronecker deltas. E J E 
I equals Delta J I equals Delta I J Display style Math BF E underscore J C D O T Math BF E underscore I equals Delta underscore G equals Delta underscore I J Thus we have U X T equals X X T minus X or U I equals X I minus Delta I J X J equals X I minus X I Display style Math BF U Math BF X T equals Math BF X Math BF X T Math BF X Q quad text or Q quad U underscore I equals X underscore I delta underscore I J X underscore J equals X underscore I X underscore I or in terms of the spatial coordinates as U X T equals x minus x x t or u j equals delta j i x i minus x j equals x j minus x j Display style Math BF U Math BF X T equals Math BF X Math BF X Math BF X T Q quad text or Q quad U underscore J equals Delta underscore G X underscore I X underscore J equals X underscore J X underscore J Topic Displacement gradient tensor The partial differentiation of the displacement vector with respect to the material coordinates yields the material displacement gradient tensor ZU. Thus we have where F is the deformation gradient tensor. Similarly, the partial differentiation of the displacement vector with respect to the spatial coordinates yields the spatial displacement gradient tensor ZU. Thus we have Topic. Examples of deformations Homogeneous or affine deformations are useful in elucidating the behavior of materials. Some homogeneous deformations of interest are Uniform extension Pure dilation Equibiaxial tension Simple shear Pure shear plane deformations are also of interest, particularly in the experimental context. Topic: <laughs> Plane deformation. A plane deformation, also called plane strain, is one where the deformation is restricted to one of the planes in the reference configuration. If the deformation is restricted to the plane described by the basis vectors E1, E2, the deformation gradient has the form F equals F11 E1 E1 plus F12 E1 
plus F twenty one E two E one plus F twenty two E two E two plus E three E three Display style bold symbol F equals F underscore eleven Math BF E underscore one O times Math BF E underscore one plus F underscore twelve Math BF E underscore one O times Math BF E underscore two plus F underscore twenty one Math BF E underscore two O times Math BF E underscore one plus F underscore twenty two Math BF E underscore two O times Math BF E underscore two plus Math BF E underscore three O times Math BF E underscore three in matrix form F equals F eleven F twelve zero F twenty one F two two O O O one display style bold Symbol F equals begin B matrix F underscore eleven and F underscore twelve and zero F underscore twenty one and F underscore twenty two and zero zero and zero and one end B matrix from the polar decomposition theorem the deformation gradient up to a change of coordinates can be decomposed into a stretch and a rotation. Since all the deformation is in a plane, we can write f equals r u equals cos theta sin theta zero minus sin theta cos theta o o o one lambda one o o o lambda two o o o one display style bold symbol f equals bold symbol r c d o t bold symbol u equals begin b matrix cos theta and sin theta and zero sin theta and cos theta and zero zero and zero and one end b matrix matrix begin b matrix lambda underscore 1 and 0 and 0 0 and lambda underscore 2 and 0 0 and 0 and 1 end b matrix where theta is the angle of rotation and lambda 1 lambda 2 are the principal stretches topic isochoric plane deformation If the deformation is isochoric volume preserving then det f equals 1 and we have f 11 f 22 minus f 12 f 21 equals 1 Display style F underscore eleven F underscore twenty two F underscore twelve F underscore twenty one equals one Alternatively Lambda one Lambda two equals one Display style Lambda underscore one Lambda underscore two equals one Topic: Simple shear. A simple shear deformation is defined as an isochoric plane deformation in which there is a set of line elements with a given reference orientation that do not change length and orientation during the deformation. If E1 is the fixed reference orientation in which line elements do not deform during the deformation, then lambda 1. Topic one and F E one E one Therefore F eleven E one plus F twenty one E two equals E one F eleven equals one F twenty one equals zero. 
Display style F underscore eleven Math BF E underscore one plus F underscore twenty one Math BF E underscore two equals Math BF E underscore one quad implies quad F underscore eleven equals one tilde 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 F underscore twenty one equals zero. Since the deformation is isochoric F eleven F Twenty two minus F twelve F twenty one equals one F twenty two equals one Display style F underscore eleven F underscore twenty two F underscore twelve F underscore twenty one equals one quad implies quad F underscore twenty two equals one define gamma equals F twelve Display style gamma equals f underscore 12 then the deformation gradient in simple shear can be expressed as f equals 1 gamma 001001 display style bold symbol f equals begin b matrix 1 and gamma and 0 0 and 1 and 0 0 and 0 and 1 end b matrix now f e2 equals f12 e1 plus f22 e2 equals gamma e1 plus e2 f E two E two equals Gamma E one E two plus E two E two Display style bold symbol F C D O T Math BF E underscore two equals F underscore twelve Math BF E underscore one plus F underscore twenty two Math BF E underscore two equals Gamma Math BF E underscore one plus Math BF E underscore two quad implies quad bold symbol F C D O T Math BF E underscore two O times Math BF E underscore underscore two equals gamma math BF E underscore one O times math BF E underscore two plus math BF E underscore two O times math BF E underscore two since E I E I equals one Display style Math BF E underscore I O times Math BF E underscore I equals bold symbol math at one. We can also write the deformation gradient as F equals one plus Gamma E one E two Display style bold symbol F equals bold symbol math at one plus gamma math BF E underscore one O times math BF E underscore two. Topic See also Euler Bernoulli beam theory Deformation engineering Finite strain theory Infinitesimal strain theory Moiré pattern Shear modulus Shear stress Shear strength Stress mechanics Stress measures <laughs>